I hope you're doing well. But no matter what's going on, remember to use your meta-awareness, the part of you that can step back and observe yourself, even if you're in an awful state of mind, a crappy mood, a painful conflict, or even dealing with a devastating failure or situation. Self-awareness is the key to everything. Treasure it. Honor it. Train it. Use it. Today, I want to tell you all about the power of awareness. So grab a drink and whatever else you need, and let's jump in. In episode five, I showed you how to consciously direct your awareness to pick up on specific kinds of inner experiences. We have this unbelievable capacity to intentionally focus our awareness. It's more difficult if you're in extreme physical, mental, or emotional pain. But even then, you can almost always place your awareness where you choose. Where awareness goes, experience flows. Unfortunately, we barely utilize this gift. We go through our days on automatic, letting our awareness direct us instead of the other way around. And when we feel lousy, we assume it just is what it is and think we can't use our awareness to change it, except perhaps through distraction uh, or maybe working out. In my doctoral work, I studied a lot of neuroscience. I lived in Switzerland for 10 years, and for part of the time, I worked in a neuroscience lab. It's a really interesting field that makes new discoveries every year. We've gained a lot of valuable knowledge about strokes, brain tumors, and other brain lesions, as well as fascinating observations of how the various areas of the brain process different kinds of sensory information, visual, auditory, proprioceptive, and complex things like language and music. But one thing that really struck me was how utterly clueless the field is about the mind itself. By mind, I don't just mean thinking. I mean the entire psyche, everything we experience, awareness, perception, cognition, imagination, intuition, thinking, feeling, judgment, language, memory, the whole kitchen caboodle. <laughs> that was the name of the store I lived above in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Not important. <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle. Awareness of the contents of the mind is a domain that brain science knows nothing about. We have awareness, but we have no idea where it comes from or what controls it. None of the mind's awareness can be found in the brain. And you also can't locate functions like creativity, intuition, insight, understanding, and the most important one, agency or control, meaning the ability to direct your awareness from this mysterious source called I. 